What an exchange. And Ben <laughs> Jones finally puts it With the growing involvement of sports science specialists and training programs, drills have become prevalent in the all sports. Pickleball is no different. And more and more coaches are giving pickleball drills to their players as a way to improve their games. Pickleball drills provide players with a number of advantages, are a necessary component of attaining pickleball competency and ultimately mastery for those who wish to compete in this amazing sport. Regular drills will not help you at being better at pickleball, but will also help you get stronger and more fit overall. Your playing skills will also get better as your muscle memory improves. Hello and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media. In today's video, we're going to look at the top 7 pickleball drills that can make you an expert player. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. Let's dive right into this video. Dinking for points is a good drill for beginners. You already know that one important part of pickleball is being able to last through long dinking rallies. When you dink for points, you don't have to worry about the serve, the return, or the third shot drop. This lets you spend more time on your shots while keeping the game competitive by keeping track of your score. You can do straightaway dinking or cross-court dinking depending on what you need to work on, whatever you and your partner think is best. You play pickleball as usual, but you can only hit the ball to one side of the court. For example, if you cross-court dink, the half of your partner's court that is in front of you is out. So it's an out if you hit a ball that goes past the center line. When you win a point while practicing cross-court dinking, you will switch sides as usual. Drill number two, reflex training. This is a really fun drill that sometimes makes you laugh so hard that you can't stop. You already know that pickleball can be a fast-paced game. Your reflexes must always be quick and ready to go. This simple drill for reflexes will help. How it works is as follows. As usual, you and your partner will both be standing in the kitchen line. As usual, move back and forth, but don't do anything too crazy. Hit your partner with a hard drive out of the blue. In this drill, this job is to calmly block the shot and make sure it doesn't pop up. In pickleball, pop-ups happen a lot. If you're not ready, a hard ball will come right at you and you'll be done for. This drill will help you to train your reflexes, but it'll also help you get better at blocking shots softly and with confidence. You can do this drill a little differently if you have a bucket of balls. You can just hit soft shots to your partner instead of dinking back and forth, then bang one at them without telling them. But don't let it be too clear. The better it will work for your partner, the more subtle it should be. Drill number three, sweet spot drill. This is a simple drill to help you get better at coordinating your hands and eyes and find the sweet spot on your paddle. Hold your paddle parallel to the ground and drop the ball on top. Don't let the ball fall to the ground. Keep hitting it gently into the air above you. This drill is basically a more advanced version of the game we all played alone as kids. It's called the sweet spot. Drill because the ball feels and sounds best on your paddle in a certain spot, usually in the middle. If it moves towards the edges, it will feel wrong, sound funny, and not move as well. Try a few rounds of this before your next match to get ready. Drill number four, third shot drop and returns. It's something we've heard a million and a half times. In pickleball, the third shot drop is the most important shot to learn. It's a fact, so we need to make a drill that helps you to do this. I'll give you a simple one that will help you get better at this hard shot. Like in a real game, one player will stand at the baseline and the other at the kitchen line. The person at the kitchen will pass balls to the person at the baseline, who will then try the third shot drop. This drill is done over and over, but there's a good reason for that. The whole point is to train your muscles to remember what to do. If you make yourself do 50 to 100 of these, you'll get better at them. It would be best if you brought a lot of balls. If you hit it into the net, your partner can just pull out another ball to keep playing and save time. If you're getting, this is not just a drill for the player doing the drop shots. It's also a drill for the person at the net. You aren't just giving the player the balls. You work on hitting your returns to the net, or if your drop shot's too good, you work on dinking it back over. Also, if you're the player who gets the third drop shot, make sure you feed the balls in the right way. Don't hit them for no reason. Make sure that the balls you feed it are realistic and in. Remember, we want these drills to be worth the time, so feeding the balls the right way is very important. Number five, volley battle. For the volley battle, you need to be fast and have good hand-eye coordination with a partner. The goal is to keep hitting the ball across the net without letting it touch the ground. This drill will help you get better at moving your hands quickly and changing your position. It will also help you learn how hard and high to hit the ball to get it over the net. Lastly, the volley battle reminds me of what some people might say is the spirit of pickleball. It's wild and fast. Number six, back and forth drills. This is a fun little drill for pickleball that helps you control your distance and drop shots. I like this drill because it gets you moving on the court and gives you a chance to work on your skills. 
You will both start at the kitchen line to do the back and forth drill. One player will hit the ball over and the other will return it. After returning the ball, the player will take a big step backwards. The player at the net will then hit the ball a little further. You keep doing this until the player who is being drilled gets to the baseline. You're basically doing third shot drops at that point. When you make the third shot drop, you will now walk towards the kitchen line. You will do what you always do, but when you get there, it will be your partner's turn. Your partner will now move back to the baseline and you will hit the ball to him. If someone makes a mistake, the player who's feeding should have more than one ball on them. When doing back and forth drills, make sure to split step when your opponent hits the ball. You already know that footwork is a big part of pickleball. If you have bad footwork, the rest of your game, well, it'll be bad too. Number seven, the kitchen run drill. When you're done with back and forth drills, you can move on to the kitchen run drill, which is its bigger brother. We do kitchen runs all the time and my students love them the most. That's for a good reason. Kitchen runs are the best ways to practice for the hardest part of pickleball, which is getting to the kitchen and switching over to the dinking game. This drill not only helps you improve your third shot drop, but it also helps you get the kitchen more quickly. On the courts, you need to know how to do both of these things. One player will be at the kitchen line and the other will be at the baseline to start the kitchen run. The player at the kitchen line will pass a ball to the other player who will try a third shot drop. From now on, the player at the baseline will try to get to the kitchen, just like they would in a real game. But the person at the kitchen line will work hard to stop that from happening. Again, just like in a real game, if the drop on the third shot was too high, slam it. Make it as hard as they can for them. This drill is a ton of fun and a great way to work out. As I've already told you, you'll use this a lot in a real game. You have two goals as the person at the baseline. The first goal is to make a good third shot drop and get to the kitchen line. The second goal is to win the point by using the skills you worked on earlier, like dunking. Now that you know how to set up your drills and which ones to do, get out there and do it. We promise it'll make a huge difference in how good you are. So, what's your favorite pickleball drill? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching.